Thank you for listening. I'm Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21, and this is Apollo Tosh Mahal. We are the guys from the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts podcast. We know you're going to like the interview, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all the social media platforms, as well as the Missing Time Productions YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to didyouseethatshit.com for a complete rundown of all of our content. Right, Apollo? Yeah. I want to welcome back Logan Storm Storley to the show again. What's going on, brother? Oh, uh, not too much. Just, uh relaxing getting ready for another workout well i appreciate you doing this man uh you know this is a, your third i believe your third time on the show and, and every time uh i get to speak with you man it just seems like you you improve between your fights more than the average fighter in my opinion man you just look phenomenal every time out this time you get a co-main event spot in your own backyard against a very tough aj matthews what is that going to mean to you i mean it's exciting you know i have lots of uh Lots of friends from South, the South Dakota area, and then I have all my Minnesota teammates, and um, and then I got the South Dakota State wrestling, you know. So between the Minnesota Minnesota Gopher team and the South Dakota State um, guys, and so it's you know it's exciting. It's it, it's really exciting, and I just get to go out there and compete in front of my my friends and family, and you know that's always exciting. For sure, I can't wait, man. It's gonna be a gonna be a very entertaining fight. I'm actually gonna be there covering this one as well. So uh, your last fight at 197, I was at too, and, and you just you dominated Joaquin Buckley for for pretty much the entire fight on your way to a unanimous decision. This time around, AJ is gonna pr- present a little uh-huh. bit different of a challenge to you. What what changes have you made at camp specifically for AJ? Um, yeah, you know, everyone has a different. Um presents different challenges uh you know buckley was a big strong explosive kid who um you know in previous fights had had a lot of power in his hand and um was an athletic kid that could wrestle and you know aj's more polished with his striking um i would say and um you know he kind of and he's been around the game for a long time um you know and so more, more experience, more veteran, and you know he throws leg kicks. He throws, um, throws, you know, a lot of combos. So you know those things are things that we've really taken into consideration. But um, you don't go away from who you are, um, you know, no matter who you're fighting. And so that's one thing. Um, you know, each fight is just about improving small little details. Um, and so, you know, we've definitely watched film on AJ and, and, um, you know, we'll make our, make the right changes that we need to, and, um, we'll go from there. Well, I know you will, man. I mean, your strength, of course, being, uh, you're wrestling, you're a four-time NCAA All-American, uh, you know, and your striking has come along, coming along very nicely too. You've been working with, uh, Hard Knocks 365 and Henry Hooft, right? Yep, correct your striking has been coming along leaps and bounds but as you said you know your wrestling will always be uh, you know your bread and butter man you're only 25 years old you're going to you're going to be 26 in September and of course Bellator is doing this big welterweight tournament have there's been talks to maybe keep you around as like a reserve in case one of these guys get hurt um yeah you know it was kind of a it's weird timing um how it all kind of happened because I was in the middle of fight camp and um all of a sudden I heard about this tournament. And so, you know, it's, I, I've heard different things about the money and the pro, you know, everything else. And obviously it's the best guys in Bellator, but for me, you know, it doesn't really matter. The thing that I'm most worried about is, um, August 17th. And so that's just your mindset when it comes to wrestling is you just, you worry about what's in front of you first. You know, you don't, you don't become, um, the NCAA champ or, the Olympic champ or whatever by worrying about who you're going to face in the finals, you know, you worry about your first round, you worry about what's, what's next, you know, it's always, it's week to week. And so, um, that's just, that's what I'm worried about is August 17th and I'll take care of business there. And then, then we'll see, um, what the future holds. But, uh, you know, that's, that's just how I've always went about things is you take care of, uh, you take care of what's in front of you first. 
Yeah, no, I hear you, man. That that is a very uh, pragmatic attitude to take, especially in fighting. You don't want to get too far ahead of yourself. Um, but assuming everything goes your way here uh, in your next fight against AJ. In 2017, you got three fights in. So permitting no big injuries with this one coming up, would you like to get one more fight in at the end of the year? Um, yeah, you know, we have to uh, <clears throat> we have to look at, at things. You know, I fought kind of back to back to back um, a little bit there and um, was coming off, had a little injury and took care of that. So, um, you know, the biggest thing is just, just feeling healthy and, and improving. Um, so if if there's something that makes sense and we can we can fit it into the schedule before the end of the year, you know, that definitely wouldn't be upset about that. Um, and so, but, you know, that's that's in the future once again. Right, yeah, definitely. Well, man, uh, best of luck to you, man. Uh, you're one of the most, I believe you're truly one of the most exciting young fighters that Bellator has in, in total, not just in the welterweight division. Uh, I'd like to give you a few minutes to shout out your coaches, friends, sponsors, whatever you'd like, man. Floor is yours. Uh, yeah, you know, I want to I want to say thank you to my sponsors, uh, American Ethanol and Sanford Health, um, Eight Man Apparel, and Webster Scale, McGuire Iron. Um, they've always had my back, so you know, without those guys, it's uh, it's hard to do what we do. And then, um, you know, I also want to thank Hard Knocks Three Six Five with Henry Hoof, Tommy Barzini, um, Greg Jones, and uh, Robbie Lawler. Well, I appreciate your time, Logan. I will be there in South Dakota, and uh, you, you might be the co-main event, but I have a feeling that you are going to get easily the loudest pop of the night, my friend. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping uh, hoping to give them something to cheer about. So. Well, I know you will. You always bring your A-game, and I look forward to meeting you again, and best of luck to you, sir. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>